So today we're going to be making these whole wheat mini breads. They taste amazing and yeah, they look delicious. And uh, you're going to start by putting some white flour, um, whole wheat flour, all into a bowl and add your water, your yeast and your salt. Um, the recipe is going to be down below, by the way. And then you want to mix it all up. You could technically also use your hands, but I used a stand mixer. It's going to be a very wet dough, by the way. Don't be discouraged by that. Don't add more flour. It's going to be all right. <laughs> We're going to deal with it later. Um, and then you just want to let, let this dough rest for about two hours until it's like risen. <clears throat> then I flour the surface. You want to have quite a bit of flour. Then dump out the dough. <laughs> As you can see, it's risen quite a lot. And now with your hands, you want to kind of just flour the surface of the bread. As you can see, like I always take from the side and then like pack it in the middle. You could also do this with a bench scraper, but I just do it with my hand. Uh, this way you can like have it more under control. And yeah, then I just, um, I just pack it tighter so you could uh, it's easier to make like uh, little rolls out of it, but you don't have to do this. And then I just cut it into eight pieces. I use a bench scraper for that. And um, each of these eight little balls, I just put a little bit of flour on them and then I like try to form them into a circle. Uh, it doesn't have to be super exact. Just a little bit. You could technically also make squares out of them. Doesn't really matter. And then I chose to use um, sesame seeds and poppy seeds, but you could, I mean, you could also use sunflower seeds or whatever. Um, flax seeds would also be really good. And then I just like water, uh, mist the top of the little bun. You could also use like a spray, that would be probably easier. But I just take my hands, put them in like a little bowl of water. And then I dump it into the mixtures and then like slowly <laughs> try to take it away again. And then I put it on a baking sheet and let them proof for about half an hour. And then you wanna put them in a very hot oven, about 203 degrees Celsius and, and also with some water so they get nice and crunchy. And after 40 minutes, they should kinda look like this. When you cut them open, they have a really beautiful inside and they taste so, so good. <laughs> 